Hi, welcome back. I'm Sam from Pixie Woo and today I'm going to show you how to recreate a dramatic smoky eye makeup in the style of Kim Kardashian. I'm going to use Makeup Forever High Definition Foundation. I'm using a Real Techniques buffing brush just to work that into the skin. This foundation gives you maximum coverage with minimal product. It really is a beautiful foundation. But Makeup Forever is a little bit tricky to get in the UK. Um, you can get it from Guru Makeup Emporium, um, which is in London, but I do believe that they do mail order. So we're really buffing this into the skin, so it just is a very, very light layer of foundation. Moving swiftly onto eyebrows, I'm using a Laura Mercier uh, Brow Powder Duo in Ash. And we're really going to define the brows because Kim obviously has quite dark brows. So I'm using a little angled brush and we're just going to draw this powder onto our brows. So making the brows quite strong and defined. I'm going to keep it nice and simple on the eyes. I have two palettes. These are both from Sleek Makeup, which is available from Superdrug. Um, this one is the primer palette, and this one here is the Bad Girl palette. I'm going to start by using this peachy colour here and putting that all over the lid. I'll just use my finger to do that. So this primer will give our eyeshadow something to stick to. And then moving on to the Bad Girl palette, as you can see there are a bunch of gorgeous wearable colours there if you like smoky eyes. I'm going to use the second one on the bottom which is a shimmery grey and I'm going to push this on along the lashes. It doesn't have to be too neat at this point. So we push the shadow on, kind of messy, but we don't take it up to the socket because we're going to blend it through the socket with a soft brush. This one is a 217 from MAC. Upwards towards the socket. And then we're just going to blend it outwards at this outer corner. So just working with our brush, we just flick it outwards. Just to give a little bit of a lift. Underneath the eye we're going to use the same brush, this is a MAC 217, but we're not going to apply any more product to it and we're just going to take this just under the eye. And with our smudging brush we're going to blend that some more. On the waterline I have a Barry M black eye pencil. The Barry M pencils, we love, they're really good value for money. I'm just going to do the other eye and then I'll be back. Kim is massive on lashes, so I have some false ones here. These ones are from Eyelia, um, which is available from Boots and Superdrug. But first of all, I need to put some mascara on. I'm using Avon Spectra Lash. The good thing about this mascara is you can choose how much you want to put on. So we've got one, two or three. I'm going for three. We want maximum lashes here. and then I'm going to use my lashes. So applying lashes is pretty easy. All you need to do is run a little line of glue along the seam of the lash. The glue normally comes with the lashes. And then all you're going to do is just push them down on top of the natural lash and just sit them on top. And then you can just tuck in your corners and get them as close to your natural lashes as possible. And then with your tweezers, push your natural lashes into them. Now you can see at the moment that the glue is a little bit white, that will dry clear. Once we've got our false lashes on the top, we're going to put a bit of mascara on our bottom lashes. Now I'm going to twist this at the, at the bottom here to number one, because we don't want really full on lashes on the bottom. And 
concealer under the eyes. Now Kim always goes quite light under the eyes to give a really lifted high cheekbone look. So I'm going to use light peach colour corrector from Bobbi Brown. I'm using this on a Real Techniques brush and just going right under the eye and up the cheekbone and then I'm going to blend that in. On the apple of the cheek, I'm going to use another product from Bourjois. This one is number 95 in rose. You can see it on that side. I've already done that one already. Kim almost always has a soft pink on the lips. I am using Satin Sheets from Avon, which is the perfect colour. And then finally over the top I have a bourgeois lip gloss, this one is clear and it's a 3D effect. And that is the finished Kim Kardashian look, I hope you like it and thank you for watching, I'll see you soon, bye bye.